Okay guys, so I bought a box with a lock and a single phase meter. With this we can actually monitor how much power my Ola scooter is taking to charge. We are making a hole in the bottom right now through which I can access the plug point. We measured how much place the socket needs. That is the approximate size we are going for. Cross and the cross and both left and right side screws are fixed. After that, they are going to move to install the meter. Now they are installing the power socket. This is the same one which the Ola people installed. We are just placing it inside the box. Now the meter wiring is taken from the bottom of the box, also fixing the meter to the box. Now comes the wiring part. They are going to connect the socket to the meter and to the main power supply. The wire connection is almost done and they are going to turn on the power supply now. The green light turns on on the meter. The final check of the power supply before they close everything up. Fixing the socket back to the case. Now the electrician's work was done. I bought some M seal to give a smooth finish to the rough edges. The cut they made was not smooth enough and they didn't have a file to file it. So I thought why not seal it up with M seal and give a round soft edge where my wire would not cut whenever I pass through it. Removing any heavy dust before we start applying M seal. I mix the M seal very well, now placing it in all the corners multiple times and making sure it has a snug fit, giving it a smoother finish in the end. Now I'll be passing the socket with cover on it as the M seal is wet to make sure there is enough place for the socket to pass through it. This is the final setup how it's going to look. First I'm going to place the socket. I'll turn on the MCB now. Coming back to the box, the meter light is on. There's a green indication over there. The meter value is 0 0.03. We did not use it yet. I'll turn on the switch. I'll show you the charging setup. Open the flap and make sure the bottom part of the charger's part is aligned to this hole and just slide it in. One more important thing about the charger is it has a fan inside it. You can see here, you can hear the sound as well. This has to be ventilated all the time. So the first thing I do is place it on the floorboard of the bike or you can also use a stool and leave it in this loop this is how I leave it I'll also show you the box I have a small lock here so no one can access my charger my socket or even the meter and about how much time it takes to charge once I unlock the scooter it clearly shows the exact time the scooter will reach 100% so that is when I have my reminder on and I'll come down and unplug the scooter the total setup costed around 2000 rupees. The breakup can be seen on the screen. This is how it looks from the inside. I have to use the small key to open the lock. Then lift these two flaps. The setup is open. And when I'm not in use, I make sure to turn off the switch. And also the MCB is turned off. To just cross check, the meter light is off. You can also turn off the switch close the flaps and lock it up. This way no one misuses your power socket whenever you are not around. That's it for this one. Stay tuned. Until next time.